Every segment of society uses minerals and mineral resources every day. Minerals are really important because all the rocks around the world are made out of minerals and we use these rocks and minerals in making roads, construction of buildings, cosmetics, jewelry and many many more things. Modern industrial development depends upon the utilization of these minerals. Thus, minerals are called vitamins of industry. Vitamins and minerals also play an important role in ensuring proper functioning of our body. If you are lacking vitamins and minerals in your body, it will not be able to function the way it should. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Importance of minerals, world distribution of minerals, power resources, conventional and non-conventional sources of energy. Mineral and power resources Minerals Minerals are naturally occurring substances that have definite chemical composition. Their chemical composition may consist of one or more elements. Minerals are not equally distributed on the Earth's surface. They are concentrated in a particular area. Some of the common example of minerals is gypsum, quartz, copper, manganese, gold, bauxite, talc, etc. Ore A mineral from which a metal is obtained is called an ore. The ores are extracted through mining. These are then refined to extract the valuable elements. The most common process is extraction of iron from its ores. Importance of Minerals the importance of a mineral can be understood from various kinds of products like the household utensils and fuel that we use in our daily life. Mineral resources have been used since prehistoric times. Copper was the first metal to be used. The Egyptians discovered copper ore as early as the 5th millennium BCE in the Neolithic period and began the world's first copper production center in Timna Valley in Israel. The remains of the abandoned mines and smelting centers show the most extensive example of early mining of any kind in history. Characteristics of Minerals Some of the chief characteristics of minerals are Location Minerals are found in areas of active geological processes, for example, in the Chota Nagpur region of India, geological processes operating beneath the ground have led to the accumulation of various mineral elements which can be commercially exploited. Hardness Hardness is defined as the level of difficulty with which a smooth surface of a mineral specimen may be scratched. Hardness has historically been measured according to the Mohs scale. Color Most minerals have a distinctive color that can be used for identification. Luster Relative differences in opacity and transparency are described as luster. The term luster refers to the quantity and quality of the light which is reflected from a mineral's exterior surfaces. Luster provides an assessment of how much the mineral surface sparkles. Uneven distribution Minerals are dispersed and most unevenly distributed. There are great variations between abundant and scanty deposits of minerals. Several criteria are adopted for classification of minerals. We will presently use ductile as the basis of classification. Ductility means ability of a material to be stretched without being weakened. Based on ductility, minerals are classified into metallic and non-metallic. Then metallic minerals can be further divided into ferrous and non-ferrous metallic minerals. Mining The method of extraction of mineral resources from the earth from an ore body, vein or coal seam is known as mining. The method of mining used for taking out the minerals from shallow depth near the surface of the earth is known as open cast mining. Materials typically extracted from open pit mines include clay, coal, copper, diamonds, gravel and stone, granite, etc. Shaft mining or shaft sinking refers to the method of excavating a vertical or near vertical tunnel from top to down 
where there is initially no access to the bottom. Petroleum and natural gas which occur beneath the earth's surface are extracted by shaft mining method. Drilling The minerals which are extracted by boring deep wells have to be taken out by drilling into the earth with a drilling rig that rotates a drill with a string attached to it. Quarrying The process is used near the surface of the earth by simply digging out or breaking rocks. Quarries are generally used for extracting building materials such as construction aggregate, sand and gravel. Any mining operation comprises of four stages. Prospecting, Exploration, Development and Exploitation Prospecting means surveying and searching for the resources. The resources in the Earth's crust require sophisticated technology to discover. Since mining is inherently spatial, requiring accurate knowledge of areas of the Earth's surface and subsurface with the help of satellites and various other techniques are taken is important. Exploration means conducting the actual search for extraction and even deciding on the type of mining method. Development means establishing the necessary infrastructure for extraction of minerals on the earth's surface or beneath it. Exploitation involves commercial extraction of minerals. Uses of minerals The uses of minerals are wide and varied. Iron make up for about 95% of all metals consumed worldwide. It is used for making steel and steel products and is used in automobile industry, making buildings, etc. Minerals like bauxite are used for making aluminium as it is in great demand for making engines and bodies of automobiles and aeroplanes. Bauxite is also used in bottle industries and kitchen utensils. Copper is a ductile metal which is also considered a very good heat and electricity conductor. About 65% of copper that is produced is used for electrical appliances. The important uses of copper include power generation and transmission of electricity through wires. Graphite is used in making the tip of a pencil. Toothpaste The toothpaste we use to clean our teeth contains a mineral called Fluoride. Many other minerals are also used like mica which add sparkle to the teeth. Salt is a mineral obtained through evaporation of seawater. 